What's up students, it's your sensei PGT. Welcome back to my class. Today I'm going to show you guys the best liquid culture recipe I've come across so far. Big shout out to my homie Fungi Guru on Instagram and Mossy Creek Mushrooms for this recipe. It's a combination of corn syrup, light malt extract, and peptone. The original recipe I was using with corn syrup worked just fine. However, it was lacking some nutrients to produce thick liquid culture. So when Fungi Guru told me to add malt extract into the mix, this produced more mycelium growth. And with the addition of peptone, which I found out from Mossy Creek Mushrooms, I recommend you guys check out his video about using peptone to supercharge your liquid culture. I combined all of this together to create the ultimate liquid culture. You get nice thick clouds like this, as well as a clear broth, which makes it easier to spot contamination within your liquid culture. I still recommend you to test your cultures out on agar pichu dishes to make sure they're clean before you inoculate with them. Anyhow, let's dive right into this. I'll show you guys what you would need to make this recipe. First things first, we're going to need some light malt extract. I bought these on Amazon. You can find these at the brewery store as well. It's going to be one of the primary ingredients here. Next thing is corn syrup. You can find these at any grocery store chain. Really easy to get. And finally, you're going to need some peptone. This I had to order on Amazon. 100 grams of these goes for about 14 bucks or so, and it'll last you for a long time. I have links to all these items in the description below for you guys. Today I'm using distilled water. You can use filtered water, that's fine. You need a cork mason jar, liquid culture lid, a spoon to mix the ingredients together, measuring spoon just so I can weigh out my ingredients, and a magnetic stir bar. First thing I'd like to do is measure out 600 milliliters of water. Next I'm using a little measuring cup here to measure out 12 milliliters of corn syrup. I'm going to be weighing this out as well, so if you don't have one of these little measuring cups, you can just refer to the amount of grams here we need of corn syrup. I'm going to carefully pour out 12 milliliters. This is going to equal out to roughly 18 to 20-ish grams of corn syrup. After that, dump that into your jar of distilled water. Next up, I'm going to measure out my light malt extract. I'm using a quarter teaspoon here using about one and a half of the quarter teaspoon. This will give you roughly 1.2 grams. Next I'm going to dump this into the culture mix. And finally we're going to measure out one gram of peptone. This is bacterial logical peptone. Now this stuff's pretty light and fluffy. And I measured it out one gram of peptone is roughly half a teaspoon amount. Yep, now with the one gram of peptone, we we'll dump that into the mixture as well. Now with everything, we want to go ahead and stir up our mixture. We'll get this evenly mixed out and dissolved. Now the corn syrup is going to be pretty sticky on the bottom, so mix this up very thoroughly to dissolve that corn syrup. Now finally, we're going to drop in our magnetic stir bar. Put on the liquid culture lid. I'm going to screw this on tightly. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap the lid with some aluminum foil. This is to protect the syringe filter during the pressure cook process. Now your jars will go into your pressure cooker and we're going to pressure cook this at 15 psi for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes is up, go ahead and turn off your heat. And we'll let this depressurize on its own until it's cooled down to room temperature, and then we'll open them up. 
After it's cooled down and taken out, it will look like this. It's going to be a golden color with a little bit of sandy particulates floating around. That's completely normal, it's just nutrients. Your jar is now ready to be inoculated with mycelium. Over time, those sandy particulates will disappear as the mycelium feeds on it. I typically incubate my culture jars at room temperature, somewhere between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 to 28 degrees Celsius, for about 3 to 4 weeks. Once I notice growth has slowed down, I will then move the jars into my refrigerator to store for long term. Liquid culture will last as long as 6 months up to a year or sometimes even longer. That's it for this recipe video. If you want to know how to inoculate your jars with mycelium, you can check out my liquid culture basics video on the channel. I hope this recipe is useful in your micro journey. If you could, I'd really appreciate you leave a like on this video and share it with anyone you think might benefit from it. If you're interested in learning more about mycology, I urge you guys to come join us on the Discord server. We have over 7,000 members who are all enthusiastic about the fungi. And with that said, I want to give a big thank you to all the Patreon members for sponsoring this video. If you want to support me, links will be in the description below. That's it for this class. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.